The world's biggest wheel loader is made by Le Tourneau. The L2350 was first presented at Mine Expo 2000 and has since established itself worldwide. Today, the L2350 is part of the mining product range of the world's largest underground mining specialist, Joy Global, which acquired Le Tourneau in May 2011. Joy Global offers a second-generation Le Tourneau L2350 mining giant at Mine Expo 2012. Sean Hopkins presents the unparalleled wheel loader. Letourneau started the designing and developing rubber tired loaders in Longview, Texas in 1946. And today we still design and develop and manufacture them in Longview. Joy Global purchased Letourneau in November of 2011. It's a great partnership. Joy Global has a very vast product line. What they didn't have was rubber tire loaders to complement their rope shovels. So the partnering of our technology and our capabilities with rubber tire loaders with the Joy Global already existing drill, underground, and rope shovel line was just a, a very good decision. Behind you is the, the 2350. It is the world's largest rubber tire loader. Uh, it's the largest of the product that we currently manufacture. The 2350 was originally introduced in the year 2000 at Mine Expo. The machine behind you is the next generation of that same model with a different drive system which utilizes the SR drive system. It also has an extremely long lift arm and a very large bucket designed uniquely for the coal industry and the larger trucks that you're seeing in those products. This machine, the 2350, is by far the largest loader in the world. The tires that are on this machine are 13 foot tall. They weigh approximately 14,000 pounds. The total weight of this machine is a little over 600,000 pounds. Its lift capacity is 120,000 pounds, 60 tons. Uh, the bucket that you see behind us on this machine is a 70 cubic yard bucket. It's designed for coal. It's a very large bucket. And the equivalent would be of about lifting 30 automobiles in the air every time the machine raises the lift arms. We have three configurations of lift arms. There's a standard lift, a high lift, and behind us, the super high lift. The super high lift gives you a dump capacity and height of about 33 feet, which for the coal trucks where you have the high bodies is required to extend and center load these trucks. Generation two, as we call the next generation loader, features a new control system but more importantly features an SR drive technology, which is unique to Laterno product. It's a brushless DC system that allows power generation to be very efficient and fully regenerative. When this machine goes into braking, the electrical motors become generators, feeding power back into the generator that's connected to the engine, causing the generator to operate as a motor, turning the diesel engine, driving it to zero fuel consumption. And thus, as big as this machine is, it's only going to consume 42 gallons per hour, which is very efficient. This machine has a 2300 horsepower diesel engine, coupled to a generator, which is an SR generator, gives you the breakout force of 220,000 pounds. And the operator has control over this from a cab seat with two joysticks and a foot control pod. So it's very easy for the operator to control this massive machine and a tremendous amount of horsepower from a very comfortable seat in the air conditioner. Colonel has been designing and developing rubber tired loaders for many years. Uh, they've always been electric, so we've been hybrid before hybrid was even a word. It's a very capable machine, it's very mobile, which is a nice feature in the mine site when you need to travel great distances. This machine will travel 12 miles an hour, which doesn't sound fast in the automobile world, but in the mining world, when you're moving this much material, 12 miles an hour is a pretty good speed to, to be moving. Its capacities are, are close to what a shovel is, so it's a great match when you're needing to blend materials from different areas, but still retain the capacity of the piece of equipment, and especially with the larger trucks. I mean, uh, most of the trucks here at Mine Expo are the larger trucks, and you need big equipment to load those trucks, and this machine's that machine. Bauforum24TV Construction in Motion